All right, just an observation here for December the tooth. It's mighty, mighty warm for this time of the year, don't it you is. think? Yes, it is. It is. But it's good for the Christmas parades that are out there. Okay. You know, so yes. everyone's not shivering to death. I like a little bit so. cooler. A little bit cooler. Oh, but you're so not I wear out my there, muffler. So, okay. <laughs> All right. I look good in my muffler. Can't wait uh. to see that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I could have worn it. Yeah. Yeah. Temperatures ideally would be a little bit cooler. I think Santa Claus would probably like that just a bit more. But you know what? At least it's not raining. That's the main thing. Yes, so we don't need the rainfall at this particular point. And what we didn't need this morning was dense fog. I want to show you a picture. This is back near where Casey and I live. Look at that road. That's 346 there. And it was very, very difficult to see that dense uh, to see up in front of you. It was, visibility got down to under two tenths of a mile. This was probably true for a lot of you earlier this morning. But after 9 a.m., that fog let up and we enjoyed sunshine. Look at our beautiful sunset as we had high clouds pick up through this afternoon. Great look here from Longview as we noticed here all the colors that came in for tonight as that sun was setting and then also everybody parking near the Longview News Journal here as they were getting set for the Christmas parade. We'll have a live picture there here in just a moment from our camera right now. High temperatures this afternoon, upper 70s. Look here, Longview made it to 80 degrees this afternoon. 78 Tyler, Athens 79, 77, and Lufkin this afternoon. Very warm conditions. We've got mostly clear skies outside now, but we are starting to see some clouds move into our deep east Texas County. So Trinity County, you're mostly cloudy right now, and these clouds will continue to lift to the north over the next few hours. There's the parade route in downtown Longview getting set to start in about 15 minutes. This will begin at Whaley and Green Streets. It's going to be a great evening. Maybe just take a light jacket. Uh, temperatures are going to be very comfortable, and as we mentioned, no rainfall expected. However, Increasing Gulf moisture is going to pick up over the next few days. We're going to notice more of a humid feel outside. That's going to lead to milder overnights and also warmer afternoons along with more cloud cover. Tomorrow morning, middle to the upper 50s for most of us. A couple of low 50s off to our northeast. Still a relatively mild start to tomorrow. We could have some additional patchy fog as well, but during the day we're going to keep a mostly cloudy sky. A couple of showers may develop into the late afternoon toward the evening. We'll keep it at about a 20 30% chance. It doesn't look like we'll see much. Here's future cast as we get into the afternoon. Those clouds around a couple of showers possible Friday evening. Another chance of rain Friday night into early Saturday, mainly up near Interstate 30, but we're not looking at the coverage to be very high. This is only going to be more isolated chances, but the clouds won't go anywhere. Sunday we warm up a little bit more despite all all the clouds, but then Sunday afternoon, Sunday evening. Notice how some scattered showers develop with our cold front moving in and by Monday morning we're looking at much cooler conditions. Let me just say something about next week. If you've enjoyed the fairly quiet weather this week, next week is up and down. Get ready for it. Temperatures are all over the place. This weekend will mostly stay in the 70s overnight lows into the 60s. Some showers around, but I don't think it's anything too big to worry about. Once the cold front arrives Monday, highs on Monday near 60. We'll try to get to near 70 on Tuesday, but another cold front drops us back into the mid 60s with a northeast wind. And then next Thursday, we shoot up to the middle 70s. What a wild ride next week may be for us. Deep East Texas, middle 70s through the weekend. A couple of showers, definitely a lot more cloud cover and a little bit more humidity. I can't wear my muffler either then either, huh? Nope. News Nation Prime is